At Bedford Youth Performing Company, a day's education begins with song. Hello, how do you do? It's good to be with you. Victoria Alvarado has come full circle as a student and now a teacher. Doing after, pro after school programming here specifically is what helped me realize what I wanted to do as an adult. The state wants to incentivize learning outside of the classroom. Learn Everywhere aims to give students high school credit for internships and other after school activities. During a public hearing in Concord, some voiced concern. So I support the concept of community-based learning, but I don't think that these rules are quite ready for prime time. Opposition to a state-run program came primarily from educators who conduct work-based programs called Beyond Classroom, or ELO, insisting that existing programs are already working efficiently. They're passing, you know, certain standards, they're meeting the competencies, that's going on already. This is something added on top of that really doesn't have to happen. But advocates say a state-run program would benefit those living in districts without the resources to establish their own programs. The Courier Museum might be the best place for a student to learn art history. The New Hampshire Political Library might work best for Cold War politics. This proposal allows girls to experience what they want to do in a way that still meets their educational requirements and needs today. And today was just a public hearing, so no vote has been taken. Up next, the DOE board will discuss today's input and decide whether to take a step forward towards ratifying the program.